Hi. So I'm Ginger Greenfield, and I'm a climate activist based in Washington, D.C. I lived for 25 years in California, where I, I love nature, so I love being outdoors, and it was just a wonderful place to live. Um, and uh, so something happened in 2017 that really opened my eyes. I was in a huge California wildfire, uh, and I lived in the Ojai Valley. My neighbor woke me up at one in the morning and said, there's a fire coming up over the mountain. I'm leaving. <laughs> so I said, I am leaving too. I left, was gone for two weeks, couldn't back, come back because of the smoke. Um, when I did come back, the entire valley had burned, uh, luckily not my home. Uh, so then, yeah, after this fire experience, I really started looking around the world a lot and seeing that all sorts of things were happening because of climate change. And I wanted to do something about it. So uh, I had some friends who uh, knew about the Foundation for Climate Restoration. And as soon as I started learning about climate restoration, I knew that I wanted to help with this work. So what is climate restoration? Climate restoration is a movement to remove the legacy carbon from the atmosphere and return the levels to pre-industrial, uh, to a pre-industrial state. Um, and also, specifically, climate restoration is a goal. The goal is that this should happen by 2050, that the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are at 300 parts per million. And this is a, a level where it's, it was for centuries and centuries that is healthy for life on earth and human life. Um, so that's the goal. So to reach our goal, we look at both natural and technological solutions. The criteria that we look at is that these solutions need to be permanent, financeable, equitable, and scalable. Now, for scalability, the solutions, um, we need solutions that are already um, in the market, like they already have a large enough market that they could be um, scaled up quickly. So, for example, synthetic limestone can be used in building materials. So this looks like a really viable solution. Now, so now what's needed next? What's needed to deploy the carbon removable, car carbon removal from the atmosphere at scale is support. We need your support. Um, the technologies that currently exist are um, needed to be funded. So if you support climate restoration, um, talk to your local, uh, support local and, and national legislation that would support climate restoration. Um, also, consider becoming an activist. Um, let people know that climate restoration is important and really that there are viable solutions. We just need to move on them and get them funded, uh, talk to local representatives, um, all of that will help. Now, uh, so I'm another good thing is, is to learn more. So today I know we have some really excellent other speakers. I'm interested to learn more. And uh, the, I, I believe the more we can learn about climate restoration uh, and the pathways forward, then the sooner we can create that it happens. <laughs>